Hey everyone, Jason Shabbert here of RemotePilot101.com alongside Sarah making her video debut. Sarah, Sarah really started as an executive assistant, now basically runs all the, the offices at RemotePilot101.com. So thank you for that, Sarah. Congratulations to Sarah as well, passing her written test. Can I tell a funny story, Sarah? Is of that okay? course, yes. <laughs> so when, when we first interviewed Sarah, uh, we were going through the whole interview process and when the last questions we asked, we're like, do you kind of do you understand what we do here? And your response was? Uh, to be honest, no. <laughs> <laughs> she went from and thank you for being so honest yes. in the interview. She's still that honest to this day to a fault. And um, she went from knowing nothing about remote pilot to passing with an 87, which is a super score. So yes. congratulations <laughs> on that. We want to take you through the IACRA process uh, with this. So let's head over to the computer now. And you remember you had to make an IACRA account to begin with. So Sarah already has hers. So Sarah, you're going to go ahead and just click log in there. And then once we log in, we, we can hit not now over there. And then let's go to accept the terms of service. So we're accepting them as an applicant. Then you see up there, it says start new application. So we're gonna start new application. All right. And then we're gonna kind of continue through the process here. So we're gonna choose that. We are a pilot. So we're choosing pilot. It should pop down. We're gonna then continue on down to remote pilot initial. Maybe. There you go. Keep scrolling down. Small unmanned aircraft systems, that's what we are, and we're gonna to go to start application. Now it should have a lot of your information in here already. So let that kind of load. And we can kind of keep scrolling on down. We're just confirming everything here is correct. This will be blurred out, don't worry. Oh yeah, that's not correct, but that's fine. That this is where this is gonna get mailed to. Oh then. So this will this will you'll need to add a mailing address right here. So we can update that. Perfect, and we'll save that. Great. So again, if you change addresses, need to update or get your mail somewhere else, that's how we want to update that. So save that. Oh, oh. it just needs a state, sorry. Yes, sir. Perfect, now we save it. Okay, so now we're continuing down. Do you read, write, speak, and understand the English language? I sure do. <laughs> yes. Uh, next is drug convictions, no. And then this is, if so if you ever had a conviction or something like that, this is the opportunity to put in comments to explain the situation that actually happened. Um, with that, we can click Save. And then we can click on your basis of issuance. All right, we did it by completing a knowledge test. The next thing it's gonna need is your driver's license number. All right, so we've got all this entered here. We're now, we've got the driver's license in, we're gonna go ahead and add our knowledge test ID. So on the actual knowledge test, we were given in the top right an exam ID number. You wanna go ahead and use this number here. And while Sarah enters that, I'll explain. I know many of you um, like to celebrate by posting your pictures of your written tests, and I love when you send us those, but please make sure you blur out uh, that exam ID uh, number there because Although I doubt someone ever used that against you and, and names would mismatch everything else, be a lot of issues, but still you don't want that exam ID number getting out there because it's a one-time use sort of thing. So Sarah's gonna click search now. And of course we found Sarah's written test. Associate that test with this application. I think it's just slow, there we go, yep. All right, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit save. And we're gonna review and submit next. Have you ever been denied a certificate? Nope. The answer is no on that one. Keep scrolling down, medical condition. Do you know if you have any physical mental conditions? No. And then from there we should, there it goes. It's just being really sluggish today. Okay, now a few more steps. 
we need to view the pilot's bill of rights. This should open up in a new window usually. Click on that. A new tab. So that popped up into the window. Okay, as soon as that loads, we're just going to scroll to the bottom of that. Okay, we've read it back up to the top. And you can close out of that, yep. And then there's your other one, the Privacy Act and Pilot's Bill of Rights. And you can close out of that. Review application now over here on the right. All right, so this is the pilot's bill of rights. We'll just scroll down to the bottom of that. And you can print if you need to, but if not, we can just close out of it. Yep. We can view the Privacy Act next. Again, we can scroll to the bottom of it, make sure we've actually reviewed it. And we can close out of that when you feel comfortable with that. And then we're gonna click Review Application. Nice. So here we have, this is the IACRA just doing the paperwork for us here. Scroll through. This is your chance to make sure mailing address is correct. Everything else is good um, from that. And you can scroll away to the bottom. Just confirm everything that you entered is accurate there. And this would also benefit you to go ahead and uh, something you might want to print out too, just to have a copy of as well. And Make sure you switch to the office printer here. That one's perfect. Good. Super. And then we can close out of that. Is this a separate? Yep. All the way at the top. So that use their clothes is usually better. Yep. That knows you did it. All right. Then we're going to go to the bottom here. Sign the Bill of Rights acknowledgement. You're just going to click to sign. Perfect. Back down to the bottom of the page again, please. Sign and submit application. Great. That's the same one we just reviewed. Click to sign. And then just like that, our application ID and your FTN number. This is something you probably already have, but you want to save just in case to make sure you have all of that. Um, you can also see it says your temporary remote pilot certificate will be available in IACRA in approximately seven days. You should log into IACRA, look for the green temporary certificate button, and then you can get your temporary certificate and start operating. Realistically, you could stop start operating now with what we just printed out in addition to carrying this around while you wait for the seven days if you had to go operate tomorrow or whatever that may be. Then they advertise you're going to receive that actual card in the mail within 90 days but uh, give or take a few days on that so congratulations on that Sarah awesome <laughs> job and for you all watching this congratulations as you're going through the IACRA process as well so have a wonderful day best of luck in all your journeys and we'll see you all in a video soon Remote Pilot 101 is the most successful Part 107 test prep course on the market with over 18,000 tests passed. It's one price and you get our updated initial and brand new recurrent course for life. It's two courses for the price of one and it's for life. See the actual test questions, learn the material, take the practice quizzes all at your own pace through our easy videos you've already grown to love. Visit RemotePilot101.com to become a member for life and learn more.